I've never really viewed myself as a culture warrior. So like, what's the difference between someone with an opinion that's currently controversial and a culture warrior? It's hard to say, right? Because if yeah. you have an opinion that happens to be controversial at the moment and a part of the culture wars, then expressing yourself is going to come across as you're a culture warrior. Although I've never really seen myself that way. Um, and like you, in my art, I generally value art before politics, not art because of politics. Just, you know, creating great art for its own sake is my goal, no doubt. Um, and there is a toxic, exhausting quality to culture wars, like all wars. It brings out the worst in people on all sides. So it can very quickly get exhausting to participate in that if you are kind of a normal, well-adjusted person that wants to be happy, as opposed to someone that is sort of broken inside and therefore constantly looking for a battle. Um, so at the end of the day, I want to strike some balance where if I have an opinion that I think matters to me and happens to be controversial, I can express it. I can wade into it if I feel that I, I have something of value to say to contribute to a culture war topic. But I never want to I never want to feel like a warrior in the sense that my identity is caught up in me being on one side of this grand conflict in my head and needing to participate in every battle because I wouldn't know who I was if I didn't. As you say, this whole quote unquote culture war is playing itself out on like Twitter where 80% of, I think some like 80% of Americans aren't even on Twitter and don't even get started about the whole world. And most people on Twitter aren't even really looking at the tweets. It's really a battle between like 2% of yeah people and it's, another two yeah. percent of people and if if they just shut off their laptops threw away their phones and went outside and like talked to someone they'd realize oh my god like no one else is thinking about the stuff that i'm obsessing over all day and um yeah and there is like a certain type of person that actually does not realize that twitter is not real life like they I'm talk well to everyone aware. yeah <laughs> right i'm sure you've met these people if you've been at the cocktail parties that, that i have yeah so it's like they, they will they're like clueless people that will like go up to a person on the subway and been like be like oh like have you been paying attention to this uh brett weinstein <laughs> ivermectin and they're like what yeah and they're like no nobody nobody knows what that is yeah man. like you're just online you're too online yeah. yeah so i definitely don't like the quality of being too online that's something um that's something that is to me, to me, can be a red flag about someone if they are too online. Yeah. On the other hand, some interesting things happen online, and it's worth keeping uh, keeping a look a lookout out of the corner of your eye.